Hey, what's up? So I was thinking recently about the process of making comics. And in that, I think back to uh, a lot of the comics that I consider to be really great comics, comics that I read growing up, and even comics uh, that were around long before uh, I was around, and trying to figure out like what made them so great. Uh, great is obviously subjective. That's going to be different to everyone. But for me, my definition of what a great comic and a great comic artist and writer is, um, I've just been trying to like dissect that and I guess deconstruct and figure out what it is. And I think there's a lot of intangible aspects to it. And one of them that I've been thinking a lot about is this um, the collaborative aspect of making comics. It is still around uh, on most of the professional comics that I've worked on. It has been uh, very collaborative. I work with a writer. I work with letterers. I work with a colorist, editors. Um, and it's really great. It's actually one of the things that I prefer over working completely by myself uh, because you get just a different set of eyes on your work. You get to... Um, you know, have the satisfaction of seeing like the colors come in and the letters come in and just watch the whole process come together uh, little by little. Um, obviously, you get the feedback and the guidance of a good editor. So there, I really love the, uh, the collaborative aspect of comics. But one of the things I think is missing with probably the vast majority of comics that are created today is like the, I guess, the in-person collaborative aspect. So, um, you know, I'm thinking about like the Marvel bullpen, uh, you know, this like fairly small room where John Buscema is in there and, uh, you know, John Ramita is in there and they're handing it off. One of them's doing layouts and then they'll hand it off to someone to finish it with inks. And then, um, you know, there's a letterer there putting the letters right onto the board and Stan Lee's in there kind of telling you what the story's about. And it's a very uh, collaborative, you know, I guess for lack of a better word, almost like factory, creative factory uh, aspect of it. You know, someone does one thing, hands it off to the other person, hands it off to the other person. And um, I think in some ways that contributes to the the magic from those kinds of comics, that era of comics. And that lasted uh, probably up until, you know, the mid to late 90s. Um, I remember... This was probably back in like 90, I want to say like 96. Uh, when I was a kid, I went on a, a tour of Marvel Comics, um, the offices in New York City. And it was amazing. It was one of uh, my fondest <laughs> childhood memories. And um, I remember the person giving us the tour was sort of alluding to the fact that, you know, the bullpen that you might have heard of uh, is no longer really the same bullpen. Uh, he was saying that most of the artists work from home. Uh, some of the artists don't even live in New York, and they, they FedEx their stuff into, uh, into the office. But we did actually go walk through the bullpen, and uh, most of it was just editors, but uh, they still had some drafting tables in there, and there were letterers actually still doing hand lettering right onto the board which was like amazing to see and i remember one of the women who was uh, working on lettering uh, a page of comics was saying that you know there's like only three of us left and um we're probably not going to be doing this much longer because most of the comics are lettered nowadays on the computer so this was you got to figure this was like the mid 90s um and that is was all that was actually left of the bullpen so if you figure it lasted maybe another year or two um, until everything was completely digital and um, no one was uh, working, you know, side by side with one another anymore. Um, I don't think, you know, it was like a detriment to comics or anything like that. I just think that there was a certain era that hasn't existed for, you know, well over 20 years. Um, so... It's just an interesting thing to think about. You know, I, I, I think about like Will Eisner. I'm pretty sure that when he was working on uh, The Spirit back in the 40s and 50s, uh, he had his own studio. People were, he was doing the vast majority of the art, but I'm pretty sure people were helping him with backgrounds and additional inking. Um, I remember watching 
a documentary on Hergé, uh, the creator of Tintin, and it seemed as though he had a studio as well where people were working on backgrounds, and it was it was almost like a, you know, I guess a factory style uh, process, and um, I think that there's just a certain kind of energy and magic that kind of comes out of that process where someone could literally hand the page off to someone else. Uh, you could get that immediate feedback. I don't know, maybe it's just a nostalgia or, you know, thinking that times were better long before, you know, my time or whatever. But I feel as though that contributed in some way to that intangible aspect that I'm trying to uh, figure out. And like I said, I still think the aspect of uh, collaboration is still very present in comics. Uh, the fact that um, there still are, you know, great collaborations between writers and artists is amazing. And it's it's proven to create some really wonderful work within the last, you know, 20 plus years. But um, it's kind of funny when you hear about some artists and writers who've never actually even met. <laughs> I know that's the case with me. I, I worked on an entire graphic novel with a writer that I never met. Still to this day, we've never met. And we've done uh, interviews for different publications uh, to promote the book and still <laughs> have yet to meet. We we either did them over the phone or just via email. Mm. So I guess that's just sort of the way we things work today. We're not the only industry that kind of operates that way, but um, it's just interesting. And so a part of me maybe, you know, daydreams or, or uh, fantasizes about a time where the collaborative aspect was more, uh, you know, in person. And who knows, maybe that'll come back. Maybe there'll be some studio that pops up and creates comics the, uh, the old-fashioned way. You never know. Um, anyway, just something I was thinking about, and um, I wonder if you have any thoughts about this topic. If you do, leave some comments down below. Um, Otherwise, thanks so much for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.